employees and employers, they pay this money in and we have this fund mm -hmm. that usually is in surplus and hundreds of millions of dollars in surplus. And there's money coming out, there's money coming in. What happened is that the flow <laughs> trended rapidly towards money going out rather than coming in during the Great Recession. And that flow has continued in that direction. It has not recovered at all. I mean, it's recovered relatively speaking, but it's still going negative. So more money is going out than coming in. So that's why we're in a negative balance. And when it got to zero, the major I think it was, oh, I'm not sure it was a majority, but about half the states just continued paying out and borrowing from the federal government. And North Carolina has been hovering between number three and number five in the per capita debt. So we have about $200 of debt per individual in North Carolina, which is substantial. And it's a uh, almost three billion dollars and since the state only brings in about a hundred about one billion a year that's about three times its total revenue and you can see that see how if you were to cut the entire program in half it would still take six years to pay it off which it's actually possible to do that but you can just see the magnitude of the debt if you want to pay this off in a reasonable period of time let me make sure i understand are we still borrowing money yes we're still borrowing money from the federal government okay and that is requiring interest payments and until we turn that around we're going to be facing higher unemployment, unemployment insurance taxes mandated from the federal government.